Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. Alongside Greg Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin... It's the Toronto Raptors facing the Golden State Warriors. Here we go. And it's the Warriors to start out. Here are the five for the Raptors. Green out there with Lowry, and it's Mark Gasol. Then it's Pascal Siakam, and it's Leonard in at the three -seat. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. This all set in the pick for Siakam. Back to Gasol. Excellent D that time there from McGee. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. KD draws the double. Curry, wide open. They get the rebound. Second shot opportunity. And no good. Trying to use the glass. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Leonard against Durant. Leonard inside. Shoots over KD. Leonard, no luck. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Durant, the pass to Green. McGee is screen on Siakam to the paint. And the slam dunk by McGee. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand. And he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now here's Leonard over Durant. And it falls over the rim and in. I can't believe that went in, and I don't think he can either. Green against Curry. Pass to McGee. Driving the lane, and the slam dunk by McGee. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there? It just gets to the rack really easy. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I caught up with Coach Steve Kerr. He told me that as hard as it may be to believe, he feels less nervous about this NBA Finals Game 7 than any other game in the series. There's just so much going on, he said. With all the noise surrounding this game, my guys have found a quiet calm that I think will work in their favor. Well, we'll see if this works in a game like this, Kevin. It's closeout city. Back to you. Okay, David, thanks. Here's Curry following the basket by Mark Gasol. Outside for Durant. Two on the clock. Tries it from 19. The putback. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Here's Curry. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. The floater is a tough shot, and Stephen Curry has mastered it. Hunters trail by four with the step back. Lowry passes to Green. There's the triple. No good, shot missing. The Warriors go the other way. It's stolen by Green. Siakam left side. From outside the arc, first shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. I'm not going to confuse him with Kevin Durant out there, but Siakam has become a real threat from distance. Durant, the pass to McGee. Leonard with the steal. Gasol's in the post, guarded by McGee. They now take the lead. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. On offense, here are the Warriors. Timeout, trailing timeout. by two. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Different look here for the Warriors. 
David West, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. Looney comes in for Green. Andre Igudawa is checked in for Kevin Durant. And Berea subbed in for Thompson. A new group in now for the Raptors. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Gasol. Parsons comes in for Pascal Siakam. Norman Powell's checked in for Green. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lauer. Curry against Van Vliet. Leonard looking over the floor. Over Igudala. And it's Leonard missing. The Warriors lead it. Igudala outside. Down low. And David West, the bucket on the assist by Igudala. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Van Vliet kicks to Powell. to Van Vliet. Five to shoot. And he's good on the three ball. Off the screen going to work. Van Vliet just puts out so much effort in everything he does. There's the pass to Berea. And another three for Golden State. Matching baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. And just very little chance of that pass finding the target from that distance. And a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. Warriors lead by three. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter number two. We're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off and insists. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they show. We've got Durant. J.J. Barea is out there with Clay Thompson. And it's West, and it's Iguodala, and at the three spot. That's the Warriors' five. And it's denied! Sent back by Siakam! And now another look at that mobile one-block defensive performance. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. The Warriors making a switch here. Green's checked in. Here is Durant. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. When the shots come to KD and the floor of the offense, it makes it much easier. Lowry with the ball. Now Green defending. And a wide open look for Siakam. And a miss there on the triple. And I thought that was going to drop. It looks good from here. Thompson finds West. That shot, no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Pass to Siakam. And that one drops for him. Siakam's got five points so far. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Pass to Green. It's Durant on the wing. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Now, here's Berea following the miss by Pascal Siakam. Berea, the pass to Durant, and they pick up two. KD's got his second bucket of the game to go. Defensively, you can't give Durant this kind of look and expect to get a stop. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Pass to Berea. Latrey. Rebound by the Raptors. Siakam outside. Outside for Lowry. 
A three ball. Raptors get it back. Van Vliet outside. Three pointer. And the Raptors miss again. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Action coming off the assist from Katie. Knows where everybody is. If there's an open man, Durant's going to find him. The drive by Lowry. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The Raptors shooting their first free throws of the game right now. Free throw drops for Kyle Lowry. And a discussion of great two-way players in this league. Sometimes Lowry gets overlooked, and that's a mistake. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. JaVale McGee's check in for West. Barnes comes in for Draymond Green. And Curry subbed in for J.J. Barea. And then for Toronto, Marcus Gasol has checked in for Ibaka. Chris Boucher comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Green in for Powell. Now Van Vliet after the missed three from Clay Thompson. Outside for Lowry. the wing green pocket four and there's the call on Curry that is his first foul of the game Looney's checked in for the Warriors and Toronto also making a switch Leonard he's checked in for Kyle Lowry Leonard inside Curry meets him yep that one goes in there aggressive D there but then again Kawhi finishes through contact almost as well as anyone and it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. Golden State moving the ball around. 127 left in the first half. McGee's shot is off. Raptors trail by five. Leonard inside, covered by Barnes. They get it back. McGee with the block. offense here are the Warriors and the pass to Looney back to Curry just five on the clock McGee in the corner a three from Barnes and again it's the Warriors missing Leonard against Barnes Leonard inside. Warriors with the rebound. McGee's got six rebounds now in the game. On the wing, Barnes. They could use a bucket. It's rebounded by Gasol. Gasol's got four rebounds in this game. Leonard kicks to Boucher. Trying to find Thompson, he gets it to him. Addition out to Kirk. Here's the three. The offensive rebound. McGee. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Warriors ahead. They're up by five. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, there's a definite postseason buzz in the air. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Well, for Golden State, what a tremendous battle they've got going on here in Game 7. And what other way to be heading into the second half than to be in such a tight-knit game all the way down to the wire. Just a great example of this entire NBA final series. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, if you compare the assist numbers, you can see who's been the superior team. And they're playing a much better brand of basketball. That bodes well for them the rest of the way. Shaq, let's get your insight on Toronto. Well, they could be ahead in this game if they were taking care of the boards. More possession means more scoring opportunity. A few rebounds either way could decide the outcome of the game. Ultimately, this game will come down to who wants it more. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway.
back courtside at Game 7 as this series comes to a head. It's been quite a game for JaVale McGee. And he was an absolute monster on the offensive glass in that first half. I don't know how you slow him down. Basketball 101, you've got to put a body on him. Unfortunately, that's a fundamental that's gone by the wayside. So for Toronto right now, we've got Green. Siakam is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Lowry, and it's Gasol at the center locking down the middle. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to just two points on the bucket from Kawhi Leonard. Curry passes to McGee. Outside Curry. Thompson outside. Green against Siakam. Here's McGee. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Green finds Gasol. Lowry with the ball. Over to the left wing. The ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Siakam. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, and bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Green against Curry. Green left side. Toronto trailer. Siakam passes to Leonard. Outside for Lowry. For the lead. Leonard, no luck. And here are the Warriors now. Curry passes to McGee. The feed to Durant. And then Durant with the dunk. Aggressive move by KD. It gives this team a different attitude when he's attacking the rim. And some changes here for the Warriors. West is checked in for JaVale McGee. Iguodala comes in for Draymond Green. And Berea subbed in for Klay Thompson. Raptors also changing it up. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Gasol. Chandler Parsons comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And Norman Powell subbed in for Green. Now here is Ibaka. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Warriors leading by four. Curry dishes to West. Outside Durant. Some nice passing by Golden State. They double-team KD. On the wing, a good hour. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got three assists tonight. Powell down low. Guarded by Berea. He gets it in there. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. And it's Berea with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors to the middle. Here's West. Another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. West has got his second basket of the game. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Lowry kicks to Ibaka. Makes it off the glass. This is the kind of physical play we saw from Ibaka early in his career. We're seeing it again now. Warriors leading by five. Curry looking it over. Pass to West. A three. Another three for Golden State. How many times have we seen a possession to take that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Lowry. On the left block. That shot is off. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Iguodala finds West. Outside Curry. Passes it to KD. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's his first trip to the line. 
A free throw dropped for West. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kavon Looney comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Thompson in for J.J. Barea. Then for the Raptors, Chris Boucher is checked in for Parsons. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Kyle Lowry. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Love the strength on that drive by Fred Van Vliet. He is tough and he's aggressive. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Warriors. They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. And I also love the way they move the basketball. Their passing has been outstanding here in the second half. He's gone from undrafted to a champion. Fred Van Bleet has come a long way, and he's not done yet, in my opinion. Now here's Curry. 44 seconds left to play here in the third. Barnes against Ibaka. Barnes can't get it to go. And out of bounds as Toronto gains possession. Raymond Green is checked in for Andre Iguodala. And then for Toronto, Marcus Gasol's checked in for Ibaka. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Green in for Norman Powell. Now here's Leonard. Drops in the layup for two. Leonard's got five points in the quarter. Love the aggressiveness. Kawhi very active. Very focused on the job at hand. Here's Curry. Offensive rebound. Here's Looney. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. Leonard the pass to Van Vliet. The drive by Green, and he drops in the layup off the glass. And it's an eight-point Warrior lead. And just an incredible job by Draymond, keeping his eyes on the prize all the way through. And we've watched three so far in this one. Warriors lead by eight. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Warriors leading by eight. Our fourth quarter action underway, presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Raymond Green is out there with JaVale McGee. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Thompson. And it's KD in at the small forward. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Here's Curry. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Golden State moving it around. To the inside. And Thompson kicks to McGee. And the Warriors get it back. Thompson with the bucket. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. On the wing, Green. And here's Leonard from three. Thompson with the rebound. Leonard's gone 40% from the floor in 10 attempts. Inside. Outside for KD. Thompson outside. Launches a three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Leonard dishes to Green. Marcus Saul picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Sun changes for Toronto. Pascal Siakam comes in for Parsons, and it's Lowry in for Fred Van Vliet. And here's Curry, who brings it up for Golden State. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. McGee up top. Out to Thompson. 
Jacks up a three. Buries the long range jumper. Thompson's got five points now this quarter. Three point shooting since the half has been about as good as you could ask for. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse told his team. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Nice. Thank you, David. And really, Larry has made his career off delivering through contact. Really one of the strongest point guards in this league. Curry passes to McGee. And here's Green outside. The shot will not fall. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Here's Leonard outside Green from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. McGee's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. That one goes. Count it. Gasol's got it back down to single digits for the Raptors. And here are the Warriors now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. KD finds McGee. Mark Gasol picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Curry passes to KD. And Durant gets double teamed. Down to five on the shot clock. Thompson with it. Gasol covering. Green with the block. Good shot blocker for his size. Danny showing great timing right there. Leonard inside. KD's on him. Some solid defense there from KD. It's Curry outside, and it's Lowry with the rebound. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Count it. One thing about Kawhi, when he's driving, he eats up real estate fast with those long strides. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. McGee is screen on green, and he lobs it up toward the rim, and the slam dunk by McGee. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. And Siakam has it in the corner. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Golden State. And even against defense as tight as that, you almost expect him to still bury those. Raptors trail by nine. Lowry finds Leonard. Oh, and the jam by Leonard! So explosive with the dunk. Kawhi Leonard gets up quick to slam it down. 115 left to play in the final quarter. And Katie burns it down. Incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Now here's Leonard. Takes it inside. Tries again. McGee with the block. Gasol against Curry. Pass to McGee. Back to Curry. From deep three-point range. Gasol with those long arms is a shot-blocking expert, especially down low. That one's going to be the final dagger. And these guys can now celebrate. This has been flat out a dominant performance. They earned this victory all the way. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's McGee. But he gets it back. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. McGee's got the lead up to 14 now for the Warriors. And they get it. Lowry. No good that time. Great tee that time from Green. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game.
Maria, the pass to Looney. Left side, Jones. And that's it, folks. The Golden State Warriors have won it all. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes from winning it all. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer.